Hi everyone, this is Vidur. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, in this video, we will understand the right method to do an upgrade to an access point in the MIST dashboard. There are two ways to do that. We will try to understand both the ways and then figure out which is the right method. Okay, so let me go to the MIST dashboard. By the way, I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for MIST Wireless, and I handle the MIST AID portfolio and uh, help people see the network of the next decade. Okay, so there are two ways, as I said. One is, of course, the manual way to upgrade an access point. The other is the automatic way, which is done from the site configuration. So we'll go and check both the ways out first. Uh, let's go to the access point page on the MIST dashboard. Uh, and here is an access point, uh, which you see. And once I click on this, I just have to select that. That is the manual way. I will click on upgrade access points from here. Upgrade access point, let me zoom in so that you're able to see it properly. Okay, upgrade access point. Uh, since I have auto upgrade enabled, so it's gonna, this is gonna give me a warning saying, you know, okay, you wanna proceed? I'll say, yes, I wanna proceed. Now I have an option to select which version I wanna download the API on, right? So it could be RC1, could be RC2, could be production. Uh, which version to choose? I already have a video on that, so you might want to go and check it out. Which video, uh, which which version is right for your org, or your site, or your access point? Uh, go ahead and explore that video. You'll you'll get the answer. So uh, let's let's assume RC2. I want to go to. I'll click on Start Upgrade. Once I do that, the access point right here will start to download the image. And uh, depending on the connection to the cloud, uh, it'll take like I don't know a minute or less than that sometimes to download the image. Uh, but the point to remember on this in this is uh, the moment it starts to download the image, it will still service the clients. Your clients will not go hanging. The clients will still stay connected on the access point. The clients will still be able to pass traffic on the internet. Uh, the AP will just download the code at the back end in, in, in its memory and, and will still service the clients. Once the download finishes, once the download of the image finishes, it is then going to reboot the access point, probably uh, let's say 15 seconds, 20 seconds maximum. That is when the clients will disconnect. Uh, okay, and that's 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 when you know uh, the client will be without an access point. The radio will not work. But the moment the AP comes back up, you know, in 15, 20 seconds, the clients will be back on again. So that's the manual way of doing an upgrade of an access point, right? The second method which I usually choose is the site configuration and the auto upgrade. So I'll go on uh, organization, click on site configuration here. I have two sites, let's let's choose one. Let's, let's choose the home site and we'll see what the settings are already here. So in the firmware upgrade, I'll just zoom in. I get the option for enable auto upgrade, which I have done, yes. I can e I can e you know go to automatic upgrade to production firmware. I can go to the auto upgrade to RC2 firmware, or I can select any custom firmware that I want to go to, right? So I can, let's see, uh, let, let's, let's see what version options we have here. I'll click on select version and here, I get the option to choose, let me move my video a bit here so that it makes it clear to you, okay. Uh, I have an option to select the version per model of the access point, okay. It could be AP21, 32, 32E, 33, 41, 43. Anything that I want, I can select a specific version for a specific model of an access point. So, uh, you know, let's say I have an access point AP43. I can select, uh, you know, uh, let's say RC1 is what where I want to go to and uh, I'll click on OK at the bottom, done. That's good. And now, let me anyway move it back here. I can select which time of the day and which day of the week is when I want to upgrade. Let's say my network is not really running at 2 a.m. in the morning, 2 a.m. Uh, on, on a Sunday. I, you know, people are not working in the network. If it's a corporate network, you know, usually people will not work on a Sunday in the office. I can go ahead and upgrade my network at that time. That's that's my preferred time. I can I can change the time to whatever I want. I can you know uh, hang on yeah. I can change it to twelve a.m. twelve thirty whatever time I want to select. I can I can go ahead and do that. And then even the day of the week I can select as per my convenience, right? If your network is running twenty four seven, yes, this is something which you may not like. This is something this automatic option is something that you may not want at that time because if your network is running 2 a.m. on a Sunday as well, you do not want to do an auto automatic upgrade, right? Uh, you probably want to go down the manual road and that's the other way which we talked about at the beginning of the video, right? So that's these are the two ways. An important point for an automatic upgrade which you need to understand is if your 
target version is higher than the current version, only then it will do an automatic upgrade. We will never downgrade an AP on an automatic upgrade, right? If your target, let's say I'm on RC1 right now, and I want to go to RC2. If I select RC2 here and I click OK, my auto upgrade will not work. It will not happen because my target version is lower than the current version that I'm on. So we will never downgrade an AP in automatic upgrade. You can, if you want to downgrade an AP, you can go ahead and do it, do it the manual way, right? Uh, but in an automatic upgrade, we will never do that for you. Right? It has to be a higher version that you want to go to for an automatic upgrade to work fine. Okay. So sometimes, you know, you might, you might think, you know, that the auto upgrade did not work. The auto automatic upgrade did not happen. It's probably because, you know, the target version that you've selected is, is basically lower than your current version. So uh, let me show you an example. If, if I am, uh, if I go to the access points page and my current version is, let's say, uh, the, this is the RC1 version, by the way, 0.9, right? And I go on the site configuration and I select RC2 version or I select a version, uh, Let's let's go down here again, and I'll zoom in a bit more. Okay, let's say a custom version, and I want to select uh, AP43. I want to go ahead and do you know 0.6 for example, and I click OK. Once I do that, this automatic upgrade will take the configuration, but it will not do an upgrade at uh, at 2 a.m. on a Sunday because the target version that I've selected is lower than the current version that I'm on. Cool. Okay, hope that that clears it out. Uh, one more thing that I want you to understand is, uh, if you want to know uh, which, what are the release notes of your firmware that you want to go on or the features that have come out in the in, in this particular code, uh, you can also check that, that's very much available to you. You don't need to open a support ticket, uh, you know, and, and uh, basically ask for the release notes from there. So you can just go here uh, on the missed dashboard right at the question mark at the top and you see firmware updates. This is where you want to be. So for every firmware that is released, if I click on that, for every firmware that is released, we have the release notes right here. So it's a huge long document. You can you know reach out to your version here, search for your version, and look at whatever we fix here, whatever new features are out there in this version, and that is something which yeah which will of uh, which will be of interest to you if you want to check the release notes of any version. Okay, so I'll I'll come back to the missed org here. Uh, so this is what I wanted to explain to you guys in this video. Uh, you know, the two two methods to do an upgrade of, of a missed access point, one manual, one is automatic. Uh, hopefully it, it made sense. If you want to understand which version to choose, I am going to paste a link of this of another video that I have in the, in the description so that you can go and explore that and understand which is the right version for your org. And yeah, so let me think anything else. No, I think I'm good. I think, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this video. So guys, thank you so much for joining. In case you have any questions, you know, you can always drop a message or a comment in the in the, in the video and I will be able to uh, address that, uh, you know, ASAP. Thank you guys for joining and you have a great day ahead. Thank you.